Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with my review of the Yankee Candle Berry Trifle. This is the large two-wick tumbler that I have, and I got this because, as I mentioned in my last video when I reviewed the Almond Pure Radiance Candle, I had a BOGO, had to pick out another, and I loved this on cold sniff. Just immediately was like, yes, I need to have this candle. It smells so good. Um, but my overall conclusion about it is mixed because, yes, I do love the smell, but the performance is terrible. <laughs> so I will get into that. But first, I'll start with the pros. I'll tell you what I think it smells like. So for me, this immediately reminded me of like a raspberry sauce or a raspberry reduction that might be drizzled on top of a piece of cheesecake when you order it at a restaurant, that kind of thing. Um, I've made my own like berry reduction before using frozen berries, like raspberries, blackberries. You add some sugar on the stove and you mix it up and you mash them up. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, it is different and I had to grab my Yankee Red Raspberry because I wanted to compare. It's different. It's hard to kind of explain how it's different, but it is. This is sweeter. Um, it does have a little tartness in it, but it's smoother maybe, I guess. And this is definitely more sour. Um, possibly there's a little bit of strawberry in this too. Um, a little bit of tartness, almost kind of like a fruit roll-up, but I really still think that the closest thing that it reminds me of would be like if you get frozen raspberries and you're reducing them down on your stove to make like a sauce that you would drizzle on top of a dessert. That's what this smells like for me. And I really, really like the smell a lot. Now, um, a lot of people have been moving away from Yankee lately because they're frustrated with the performance and a lot of Yankee candles don't throw really well. In general, of course there are exceptions, but in general, Yankee candles are not going to be as strong as Bath & Body Works candles. Um, and I'm more of a BBW person, you know, like I've said many times, every once in a while I go to Yankee and grab something, but that's kind of why too, because I like really strong candles. Um, my issue with this candle though, it's more to do with the burn, um, which I usually don't have a problem with Yankee two wick tumblers on the burn. I stay away from the jars because the single wick thing, just not for me. I don't like to babysit my candles and those like they won't pull out unless you have an aluminum lid or you foil it or something and forget that. I don't use that at th those at all. Um, and that's why I get the tumblers. Tumblers generally do great for me. This red raspberry is done great. It doesn't have puny wicks usually and you know, they throw to varying degrees, but they pool out and they burn okay. Until now, um, this one's been a nightmare, a complete nightmare. I've had to babysit this thing. I've had to waste so much of it. It looks like I've burned, you know, two fifths of it, just shy of half of it, but I, I haven't actually burned probably more than like this much of the wax off. This is all a result of me like soaking it out or dumping it out or spooning it out and putting it into a different container so I can melt it. And I'll get to that in a second. But this thing would not stay. It was drowning itself out. It wouldn't even stay lit and it definitely wouldn't pull out. The first time I lit it, it was going for like six hours without a pull out and the wicks are just so nubby, stubby, puny. And the thing is, with a Bath & Body Works candle, when you get the puny wicks, if you take like a cotton ball or a paper towel or something, you soak out some of the wi uh, wax to reveal more of the wick, then it'll burn okay for a little bit, you know, and it'll probably go back to a tiny wick eventually. But this like instantly, instantly, I would soak out some wax, the flames would get high, and then zoop, back down to a tiny little blue flame. It was like, what the heck? And then I realized I was wasting so much wax by sopping it out that I started to spoon it out and just throw it in because I don't have a tart melter. If you had a tart melter, you could easily break this up and put it into tarts. But I just started spooning it into an empty candle jar because I do have a candle melter and I've been enjoying it this way. But the actual candle burning has given me a throw of like a one. Um, I, like I said, I like the smell of it, but I have to go like this to actually get any of it. And it's not pulling out. It's not cooperating. It's just really, uh, it's just bad. And again, Yankees in general, they don't throw crazy strong, which is why I don't love them, but I've never had a performance like burn issue like this on a two wick tumbler ever. Um, the positive spin on it is that 
This is throwing like a one or a two and not burning well, but the extra wax that I've reserved and put in this empty candle jar when I've melted this on the candle melter, I can actually get a throw of like a four or five and you know, a strength of like a five. Um, I actually, my candle melter doesn't have auto shut off, which always worries me, but the other day I had it on and I kind of forgot, but when I walked in the room, I could immediately smell the berry smell, which reminded me that it was on. Um, so, and it's really great. It's a great smell. So I've been having better luck melting the wax that on a candle melter than I have burning the candle. So throw of a one or two, throw of a four or five. So what's my overall recommendation? It would probably be to purchase this scent if you like it in a form like a tart. I ha haven't used the tart, so I can't say, but, um, or some people like to melt votives on tart warmers. It seems to do better being melted than being burned. Um, I'll probably end up throwing this candle right on my candle melter and seeing what that does. Um, I'm also tempted, because I do like what it smells like, to get the car jar. If anyone has tried the car jar in Berry Trifle, I'd be curious to know how that does. I know I don't expect much from car jars, but sometimes I like them. Uh, and I have a $5 vault voucher that I could easily waste on that. But I think that's about all I have to say about this candle. And I'll be back with more. I don't really know what's coming next at this point, but I'm waiting for some new things to come out of Bath and Body Works and whatnot. So, and until then, you can follow me on Instagram, Candles and Music, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.